I think our goose turned out great. What do you think, Bummy? Kate, we have a situation? So because Captain Marvel has been in theaters, I decided that I wanted to do something that I've never done before. I'm going to be letting a cat... Letting a cat into the studio. So you might be wondering what Captain Marvel and a cat have in common. Well, they're both characters in the Captain Marvel movie. And his name is Goose the Cat. Mumford, no! No, stop, no! Alright, so let's get started on our Goose the Cat. So our first shape that we're going to be making is almost like a sideways acorn. So we're going to have a little bit more of a point at one end and just a soft curve on the other. And then we're going to do two curved triangles for our cat's ears and then two smaller on the inside. Just like so. And now we're going to get started on the front of the body. So we're going to go almost toward the center and our line is going to curve out just a little bit and then we're going to curve inward and then we're going to go straight down. And for the back of our cat, you'll notice that it almost looks like a number two. So you do a little straight line, shallow curved two, and then straight and then up and around, almost like there's an S attached to our number two. And then we're gonna start right at the top of the neck and we're just gonna need to uh, curve over and then down and then a curve at the bottom for the foot. And then you just do another curve for that back front length there. And then we're just going to do a slight curve with a straight line on the bottom and then it's just going to angle up right when we get to the um, start of that curve again. And then you're going to going to go from the center of that top curve and go up and over to create that back leg there. And then I'm just going to do a straight line and curve around and connect the bottom half of my tail. Then for the back of the leg we curve over, down, out, almost like a backwards number two and then a straight line for the bottom of the foot. Now for the face, we're going to start adding Goose's um, stripes. I'm not going to do individual little stripes, I'm just going to make some general stripes for, for our cat here. And I'm just doing triangles, but I'm going to be curving them just a little bit so it looks like they're um, following along with the shape of my cat's head. So we just do one um, side that curves in and one side that curves outward, almost like it's a slice of pizza that's been plopped on the top of his head. And we're gonna do that right in between his two top ears. And once I have the uh, pizza slice stripe on the top of his head, I'm just gonna do two circles for his eyes and then a triangle for his nose. And for the nose, you'll notice that I curved inward on one side again to give it just the look of um, that it's actually forming or on a, an actual face and it's not just uh, flat. So we're doing it kind of a, an angle here, a three quarter view. So we really want to make it feel like that's a real nose and not just something that's just flat on the surface. And then I'm just going to add a very tiny little line um, right at the top of the nose here. And that's just to really make it just feel like the nose is coming outward instead of just laying flat on the face. And then just a, um, a little smile. Now if you want to do your mouth or your nose a certain way, like if there's a generic way you like to do cats, then go, go right ahead. This is just how I wanted to do my, uh, my goose character today. So now we're going to add his stripes around his face. And just like we did with the top, we're going to do more triangles, but we're going to um, curve them around the face. So we do one line that curves inward and one line that curves outward. And it'll take a couple tries, um, you know, just do what, uh, do what feels good to you. And then on the other side here, we're just going to do the very point of our triangles. We're not doing the full triangle like we did on the other side just because um, it is a three-quarter view, so we're not going to see the whole side. And that just adds to the illusion that our cat's head is turned. Now we're going to go over to the stripes on his back. So pizza slices down his back. And it's very easy, just a curve inward and then a curve outward, and it makes it look like it's draping over um, the back. Now we're just going to do um, some stripes on his tail to really add um, to the look of his um, striped catness. Um, you can put as many stripes as you want. I just did four stripes, just kept it, just kept it simple. Didn't want to go overboard with the stripes, but if you would like a ton of stripes, if you want to make them look more like the tiger stripes, then go right ahead. This is your Goose the Cat, or even if you just are drawing a cat, just to draw a cat. 
Um, and I decided I just wanted to add a couple little highlights to, hit, to the eyes, so I just took some white and uh, just uh, put it right over the top here. Or if you have a pencil, you can, you can erase it. Um, or if you have a marker, you put another color on top. So now when I color goose, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to make the stripes of, the, of my cat darker orange than the rest of him. So that way those stripes really pop. Um, and if you want to do dark and then light, that's fine too, but I just prefer to have darker stripes. And then I'm just going to pick up a lighter orange and I'm going to do um, the rest of my cat that color. And again, you can color your cat any way you want. You know, it's your Goose the Cat. So I'm just going along with the generic uh, Captain Marvel Goose the Cat look. So before we are completely done with our how-to here, just go ahead and hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more fun videos like our Goose the Cat. So let's head on back to the studio. I think our goose turned out great. What do you think, mummy? Kate, we have a situation.